What's up, y'all? This is Destination King Athletics, and I have a random thought today. Today, my random thought is I have a couple of them, so it's gonna be a couple of videos made and uploaded today immediately. Anyway, it's my day off. Sunny California, guys. Sunny California. Anyway, here we go. My random thought is about Magic Johnson and the Lakers. Magic Johnson and the Lakers. I love the Lakers, love Magic Johnson, but my random thought is, guys, I think Magic Johnson just made his first, I don't want to say worst decision, mistake, but I want to say, I, I want to say he made his first mistake. I really want to talk about this because I love Magic, love the Lakers, um, love Los Angeles, love Southern California. <laughs> you get the point, right? But anyway, my point is, I think he made his first bad choice as a GM as a president or whatever that whatever he is that he's doing with the Lakers but here's my random thought guys ball is a great player awesome player he's a local player he's everything right he's everything that a, a, a dream can uh, a, a, he's everything a dream a dream come true right for him he's from Chino Hills which is down the street 40 50 miles away from the Lakers um, don't know if he was born in Chino but I know he played high school there, so he played a long time in Chino from there. His family's from there. So my point is, is, is a dream come true for him. He got, and, and he gets to play for the Lakers. He got drafted by the Lakers. That's the dream come true for Ball. Now, my thing is, what about the Lakers as an organization? You know, they had such bad choices. They made such bad choices on the Mitch Cup check, right? And everybody knew they had to get rid of him. But, it took a while for him to, you know, he ra he basically left. He decimated the Lakers, guys. He really decimated the Lakers, but that's not my point. I'm just giving you a little bit of a background here. But um, decimated the Lakers. We knew we had to, we, I say we because I'm a, I'm a fan, right? They knew they had to bring in someone else to take over that situation, and they brought in Magic. So my random thought is I think Magic made his first bad decision. I always thought, and I still think, and I still think that they should have just got ball the number two pick, right? I thought that they should have drafted ball <clears throat> with the hopes of trading him for a whole bunch of other players. Guys, they had, I, I believe it was a number two pick. They could have grabbed ball. They could have grabbed any one of, one of these guys, and they could have traded them him whoever they drafted they could have traded him to somebody who really needs and wants him for a whole bunch of other dudes for a whole bunch of other lottery picks and or a whole bunch of guys that are in the nba right now i think magic made his mistake by putting all his chips on this one kid 19 year old kid he's a kid let's you know let's just break it down to what it is he's a kid he only played one semester was UCLA one semester he was there for one semester he played one full season with the uh, UCLA Bruins and they drafted him lottery pick he, he, he didn't even work out with he didn't work out with anybody he didn't even nothing he didn't do anything he just basically take me for what I am take me for what it is and magic decided to roll the dice now <laughs> I understand why he did it. When you look at when you look at Ball, he sticks out because he's not like a traditional point guard, or he's not like the modern day point guard who who wants to score, wants to do this, wants to do that. He's so not typical in that sense. He just wants to do things. He's doing things differently. That's for sure. He he is he's different. He's very different. Now. <clears throat> He doesn't want to shoot. He doesn't want to score. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do a lot of things that a lot of these point guards do that are in the NBA right now. But that's not bad or good. That's not. That's not bad. It's not. He's, he's great. He's a talented young man, right? But my point is, if I'm running, if I'm running the Lakers, and I know that Mitch Kupchak left us decimated, you want to turn the Lakers around? He rolled the dice on this ball guy without without even having a workout not even hey come work out for us show us what you got not even that he just said i'm gonna roll the dice i'm gonna roll the dice what happens when you roll the dice guys you end up losing 
mostly end, end up losing really big and you know it took them a while to get to where they were at to get the lottery pick and I thought you know we're just talking about magic magics and not, not talking about Mitch Kupchak's his tenure I'm not talking about that I'm talking about magic magic came in to make a splash he should have got Lonzo or he should have got somebody else Tatum I don't know uh, 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 Mr. Uh, Smith Jr. They could have got him, but I thought he should have got whoever and he should have traded for a whole bunch of other players and picks, future picks. I thought that's what he should have done. And I think, guys, when you have no bargaining chips, if you have nothing to barter or bargain with, you have to... You can't do nothing when you have nothing to barter and bargain, but they did. The Lakers had something to bargain with and they had bartering chips. What? They had a number two pick and they should have traded him. They should have got him and traded him for a whole bunch of other players and they didn't. So, in my opinion, I think Magic made his first mistake. Guys, how many more mistakes does he get before we start asking for him to remove himself? How many more? That's number one. Number one, random thought. Number one my opinion I think he made a tragic mistake and how many more number two how many more mistakes does he get before we take his job away number two guys let me know if you think that he made a tragic mistake I think he did but again I'm just here YouTubing and he's over there with the Lakers sitting there with Jeannie Buzz hanging out so you know I'm just you know I'm just letting you know you know it's a big difference but let me know what you think. I think this is number one. But, um, and we don't even know how long we're willing to wait for about a, a mature. We don't even know how long. I don't even know if the Lakers have time to, to give to him to mature. But anyway, random thought. I thought he made his first mistake by drafting him and keeping him. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think below. Comment, subscribe, like my video, please. And have a good day. And I'm out.